Hello, everybody. Well, South Korean banks are drawing up plans to protect critical electronic data from a potential electromagnetic pulse attack by North Korea. Now, do you pronounce it data or data? I, I, usually I say data. I said data that time. But uh, anyway, the South's banks and other infrastructure, including nuclear power stations and government ministries, have been the target of successful North Korean hacking attacks in the past, and there are growing concerns that the nation's financial institutions could be crippled by an EMP weapon, either in the form of a nuclear blast or a conventional electromagnetic pulse device. Now, banks are looking to, into establishing data centers overseas or the construction of reinforced repositories designed to withstand the blast of an EMP weapon. Electro electronic equipment excuse me, exposed to an electromagnetic pulse can experience damaging current and voltage surges, while the data stored electronically can be corrupted. Now, uh, one financial official said that current regulations prohibit the transfer of client information overseas, so we are discussing ways to revise those rules so we can set up data backup centers abroad. There, I said data that time. I think data is the proper way to say it. Anyway, folks, the banks are acting after the government warned Thursday, that's yesterday, that North Korea is highly likely to carry out additional military provocations in the coming weeks. Uh, evidently, in October, there may be a couple of uh, anniversaries that the Norks may choose to uh, celebrate with some manner of uh, missile firing. You know, here in America, people like to explode fireworks, uh, cr firecrackers, sparklers, uh, M80s, other assorted things that explode in celebration. In North Korea, they like to shoot off missiles to celebrate uh, significant events, holidays, and such. Anyway, folks, I'll leave you a link to this. And when it comes to links, please check out the link to my new fiction book, Fortress, A Wayfarer's Story. You know, there is an interesting North Korean scenario in that book you might find uh, plausible. It could be plausible, the way I, I uh, depicted this fictionally. Uh, that's just one of many things. This is a story about the world, what you see, what you don't see going on. Um, and also the supernatural battle that we are fighting right now. There's a link to that, which would take you to Amazon. There's also a link to a free read of Chapter 1, which is called Fake News. You could read it a hundred times if you wanted. There's also a link to some music of mine down there, folks. And I would ask you, please, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel. And if you feel so led, give this video a thumbs up. And if you feel especially generous, I'd appreciate you uh, giving this video a share. Um, but folks, most of all, I want to leave you with this. Do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ. This is Jim signing off, ladies and gentlemen. Um, always be prepared for the possibility of an EMP attack, folks. Here in the U.S., we really, truly need to be on guard. Um, I'm signing off for now. God bless you. I'll see you next time around.